uh, we're going in, into the Q&A session. We have a question for Camila so for data availability proofs used in the context of light clients. A desired, desired erasure linear code should have asymptotically large minimum distance and good locality properties. Each code is symbols can be reconstructed by a small subset of symbols. Can the locality property of an erasure code improve the communication complexity in your problem? Um, so as I understand okay. the question is, if I use uh, codes with good locality properties, can, can this help to improve the communication complexity in my scheme? And so the way our scheme defined right now, we're only interested in recovery of the whole, like we want to reconstruct the whole code word. We're not really interested in uh, uh, this uh, separate code symbols. So in that sense, it's uh, not necessarily useful. But if you think about it, like the data that is being um, dispersed is the state data. And uh, me as a user um, of a rollup, I'm not necessarily interested in recovering the entire state. I might want to uh, access just my account. And uh, if I have this modification, if I allow this like partial recovery of just uh, information that is relevant to me, and that's uh, in that case, uh, locality property could definitely help. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, so I have a question for Arat. Um, I'm basically wondering whether uh, the mitigation, so, far, so whether some of the implementations of the Lightning Network, for example, Eclair, that has a different uh, fee scheme than LND or C Lightning, it uh, adds as kind of a mitigation strategy for the price yeah, paradox. So, yes. So actually, in the, in the full paper, we show that in both C Lightning and LND, the paradox still appears with about the same uh, with the same probability, but in Eclair it does actually have a different. It also has a different fee uh, scheme, and also the routing is different. You do not choose the shortest path, you choose some random path. So, and in Eclair, uh, you can see that the routing is, is better in, in mitigating the paradox. We do not analyze it in the paper, but the way that the algorithm is built is that you do not use the cheapest path because you, you choose some random path out of the top K uh, cheapest ones. So while well, Eclair does deal quite good with, uh, with the paradox, we show in the paper that both Lightning, C Lightning and LND implementations have the paradox in them. Thank you. I also have a question, a couple of questions for you, Anze. Uh, the first one is, does the solution uh, allow to also identify sub-communities, some kind of, kind of shards within the shards? And the other question is, uh, do you have an estimate of the performance results? How much time it takes to execute the deterministic allocation? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yes. I, I don't quite understand what's the first uh, question. Can can you repeat again? Yeah. So basically, you so basically what you do is uh, you you convert the problem into a community community graph problem, right? And identify mm -hmm. sub communities. So can you identify? Can you even within a community identify more closely connected communities? Uh yeah yeah yeah. yeah yeah yes uh the 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 research is about to uh, identify the community structure in the transaction graph and uh, uh given any uh, k transaction we can identify the 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 the, the community structure based on the uh, optimization target we propose called uh, um, throughput to um, me measure the blockchain level concept throughput to uh, the graph level. And for the uh, second question, I, uh, I I can keep going with my slides, like the running time uh, com comparison, like our method can achieve uh, about uh, 200 second running time when compared with the uh, Metis based algorithm. Metis is a very uh, famous graph partition algorithm and it's, uh, it's claimed to be very fast and also used in the similar uh, problem. And we are uh, two times uh, faster than them and we can uh, 
reduce the cross chain transaction to about uh, twelve percent, uh, even with um, sixty shards, uh, as shown in this figure. With different number of shards, we can see that uh, our method is always uh, achieve a low cross chain transaction, and we can see here uh, our method also keeps the uh, workload balance there than the other graph-based uh, method. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, another question for Xian Rui uh, from me. Um, I might have gotten lost in the cryptographics of, of it, and I definitely should uh, probably check out the paper. But uh, for the moment, I did, I'm wondering if there are drawbacks to blind channels. So fundamentally, I'm just thinking that how does the counterparty retrieve their balances in the main chain if they don't really know how many, what, what was the actual balance that they have because of the privacy part? Oh, uh, okay. Thank you for a question. Uh, in the wine channel setting, uh, we mostly focus on the payment channel hub setting. And in the payment channel hub, and there's an, a hub or you can, or, or Tumblr, and there's many, and there are many other users connected to the hub. And here, only the hub could not know the exact balance. And, and here in our blind channel construction, we set a time lock for the, uh, for, uh, for the blind channel. And when, it, uh, when, when the time pass and pass the time lock, the, time, the blind channel is supposed to be closed. And in this in this way, then the blind party or, or the or the hub can can claim back its money. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, much, yeah. much more clear. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We have a time lock in the channel. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. So it's it's the, so then the the, the outcome of that is that's mostly focusing on, on this kind of like hubs, right? Than the rather than just by party interactions. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And uh, one last question, since we still have time for Arat, uh, also for me, uh, do you think intermediaries, so existing intermediaries in the line network, such as these hubs that we we're talking with, Chian Rui, um, will see it useful to actually manually uh, are, are create the paradox so that they get more fees from payments? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure about it. I think this increases uncertainty uh, about the payment, like of the routing and, and what what payment is channel is, is the best using. using. So I actually think it will decrease the paradox because it's less deterministic what path is the the best one to use, what route is the best one. So if I understood the question correctly, I actually think it would decrease, it might decrease the paradox. Yes. Yeah, so, so you mean you mean by by the by the proposed mitigation strategies or yeah or just yeah yeah okay no my my question was more aside from mitigation strategies just focusing on the on the uh, just a, on what is best for the so just on the on a rational adversary that controls a hub and wants to maximize profit through through fees. So how they might, for example, create channels just in order to increase the fees. Yes, so, so that's something that is possible, but you need to remember that, first of all, the adversary needs to, to create a channel. It's, it's not that he needs to create a channel that connects two existing, uh, two existing paths, paths. So only if there are two paths that go through this adversary, then he can create a, a, a channel between himself, or maybe if, if one of the paths is is going through him, so we can create a, a um, create a, a new channel with with a participant from the other path. Because we look at the two fastest, uh, two cheapest paths. But if an adversary comes to a network and he sees like and he doesn't he doesn't take part in any of the shortest paths that would have been used. So there, there is not much he can do. So the effect of an adversary causing the paradox might happen only if 
the adversary is part of the one of the two cheapest paths that exist. You cannot just sure. come from the outside and, and open channels between users and cause the problem. Right, right. Right. Brilliant. Thank you.